In 1974, the discovery of a three million year old female that walked on two legs rocked the world. Researchers knew her as AL2881. To the public, she was simply Lucy. Scientists tried to piece together a picture of her life. She likely slumbered in trees, and some think she might have died after falling from one. But questions remain about her species, Australopithecus afarensis. Namely, how similar was its brain to modern humans? And did it grow up as quickly as chimpanzees, or did they take longer to reach adulthood? like human children. New research published in Science Advances provides insights into what we share and what we don't with our famous ancestor. A long-standing debate among anthropologists is whether Afarensis' brain was organized more similarly to humans or apes. One indicator of that difference is the lunate sulcus, a fold of tissue toward the back of the brain. In apes, this particular fold is very pronounced, while in humans, it has nearly vanished. This evolution in brain reorganization could be linked to more complex behaviors seen in humans, like vocal communication. Since the brains of Lucy species decomposed a long time ago, past researchers struggled to find marks of these features in the interior of fossilized skulls. Researchers have now found clear impressions of the lunate sulcus in two high-resolution scans of Afarensis skulls. They indicate that the brain arrangement in Lucy species was more similar to apes than humans. These detailed images of the skull and of the fossil's teeth were also used to examine the rate of brain growth. They found that the toddler, known as the Dikika child, was 2.4 years old at death, and that her rate of growth was as fast as a chimpanzee's. But when researchers compared the cranial volume of adult and toddler specimens, they found it took longer for the afarensis to develop adult-sized brains than chimpanzees, our closest living relative. Adults from Lucy species had 20% larger brains than chimps, while the children had brains smaller than average chimpanzee toddlers. This means that the length of brain growth in Lucy species was closer to humans who are the only primates with teenagers. This longer period of childhood learning could have contributed to more advanced cognitive development. The longer period of brain maturation in Lucy species challenges the obstetric dilemma hypothesis of the 1950s. Humans need narrow hips to walk upright efficiently, so some researchers at the time proposed that humans give birth to babies that grow outside the womb for longer in order to preserve a smaller birth canal. But despite how easy Lucy species could give birth, they still had younger, more dependent infants. This means longer childhood may have been a solution to something other than upright walking, like social behavior development. In the future, researchers plan to use these extremely detailed skull scans to understand how the face changes during development, from Australopithecus afarensis to chimps to humans. These pieces are coming together giving us a more complete picture of our ancient ancestors.